Hi, I'm Violet de Ayala, I'm the founder and CEO of FemCity, and you are joining me today for FemCity TV. And today's topic is all about creating an action plan. What is an action plan, how to create one, and how to move forward in business so you can develop your business the way you've envisioned for yourself. So what is an action plan? An action plan is literally a roadmap to your goals. So I'm not talking about business plans or you know creating these big, huge PowerPoint presentations on your business. I'm literally just talking about action plans, which are the directions to your goals. So we're gonna review today how to even start creating a series of action plans that help you grow your business. As an example, let's say you want to lose weight. You would then follow directions and action plans to get to your weight loss goals. If you want to go ahead and get a degree in journalism, you would then, of course, follow a roadmap or directions to get your degree. You'd sign up for school, you'd attend classes, you'd get good grades, and then you would graduate. So everything that we do in life has a series of action plans already in place. Whether we recognize them or we don't, they're always there and they help guide us to the goals that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you three ways that you can start creating your action plans today. The first step is you need to know what your goals even are. So often we have um, goals that have come across and we really don't even know why we have those goals or really are they our goals or somebody else's goals for ourselves. So the first step in this exercise is to really think about what your goals even are. What do you want in your business? What goals do you want to achieve? What's the revenue going to look like? Really be specific when you're writing down your goals because the more specific you are, the stronger your action plans will align and the faster you'll get there. So that's the first step in this exercise. So step two in this exercise is to go ahead and see who else has achieved similar goals. And this is going to be great knowledge for you to have. It's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to help you to create an action plan that will actually work. So look to see if, for an example, if you want to be a featured contributor to a local publication or a national publication, spend some time researching the backgrounds of people that you admire in that industry and to see how they got there. What did they do to get to where they are? What were some of the action plans that they took place? You should definitely start seeing a pattern once you start researching those that are already achieving your goals that you already have for yourself or similar ones as well. So start really researching to see how they got there, what steps they took to get there, what backgrounds they had, what connections they had in place. That will really help to fine tune your action plans. You can go ahead and start moving forward into your goals with your business. So the third step in this exercise is to now really start creating the action plan itself. So now you've spent time really defining your goals, not being so vague, really being very specific. You've also now spent time researching to see what others have done to achieve similar goals that you have, what backgrounds they've done, what certifications they've received, what kind of experience they have. The third step now is to actually start creating your action plans. And a lot of times I see women that when they're starting businesses and they're starting to create their action plans, they create 500 action plans. Well, that's a little overwhelming. So just start off with like three to five action plans. What are three to five action plans that you can start doing today and start implementing them into your life, making them routine, making them a focal point, making them your roadmap, your go-to guide to getting to your goals. The key for this part is not only just to create the action plans, but to be consistent. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have struggles. You're going to fall down. You're going to get hurt. Really the key on getting to your goals is to create those action plans and really continue going through with it every single day, working closer and closer to that. Not taking a break, not losing motivation, not losing your focus, but being consistent to that series of action plans. Just like a roadmap, it's going to lead you to where you wanna go, but you need to take the time to really recognize where you're going, how other people have gotten there, and how you will get there too. I hope those tips help you. Share and comment, of course, tag, other friends that are looking to grow their business as well. And you can download our free worksheets at fmc.com. Hope you to subscribe and check us out again next week.